You can be looking at this first image coming in of the session at the same time as me. I'm so excited. Wow, look at all that detail. Up there, 23 million light years away, are two galaxies colliding, and I'm going to be taking a photo of it. I'm, of course, talking about M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, and its neighboring galaxy, NGC 5195. The Whirlpool Galaxy is about 400 million years old, with a radius of around 30,000 light years. This will be the first ever time I'm taking a photo of a galaxy, so I'm pretty excited, and I'll be using my unmodified DSLR, my Nikon D5600. I'm Arjun, and you're watching God's Art. So I'm going to be making use of a more advanced level of astrophotography with this target and that is a HA RGB composite photo. What that basically means is that we're going to combine two images together, um, one being a broadband image capturing all the natural colours, for that I'll be using the Optolong L Pro filter. We'll also combine that with a narrowband filter which is L Extreme and basically put these images on top of each other to create one full colour image. The broadband filter basically brings out all the true colour of the galaxy and the L-Extreme will bring out the intricacies, a bit more detail, um, which will bring this photo to life, add more vibrancy. So the plan is to do three hours of exposure time in both the narrowband and broadband, which means six hours of integration in total. But together you can get a natural looking galaxy, but also with that vibrancy that comes from that narrowband imaging. I'm gonna be doing four minute exposures. I haven't decided yet whether to do ISO 800, or ISO 1200, but we'll see at the time, but probably gonna go with 800. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish setting up now, have my gym session, then we'll get going with it. The idea that we can image two galaxies 23 million light years away uh, is just astonishing. We have to put in a lot of work to collect these images, uh, it's so draining but when you see that photo come through it makes it all worth it. I'm going to stay up for as late as I can, if it means 3-4am I'm just going to do it because in England we don't get clear skies that often so we've got to take advantage of it. It looks like it's going to be clear for the rest of the night as long as the forecast holds true we're going to get a brilliant image at the end of this. It's a really bright moon, so just looking up, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Look at that. That moon is going to be a big problem for us, but I do think we can manage it. We're using the Optolong L Pro, as I said earlier. This is going to collect our broadband data, and then we're going to combine that with our narrowband on another day. Uh, the narrowband is going to really bring out the details, but this will allow us to bring in the true colour of the galaxy. The camera is framed up nicely, we're focused, so we shouldn't have any problems as long as the weather's all good. You're going to be looking at this first image coming in of the session at the same time as me. I'm so excited. Wow, look at all that detail. So we've collected the broadband data now and it's looking spectacular, I've processed it. But tonight it's all about that narrowband data, the L Extreme, and that's really going to bring out the finer detail and make this image pop. I want to give a quick shout out to Dazza1639 and play the Arsenal Way 54 for commenting on my videos. It means a lot to me to see feedback in the comment section, so a big thank you to you. If anyone else wants a shout out, be sure to like this video, comment down below what you think of this final image, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. It's going to be a full moon tonight which isn't going to help the photo, it means there's going to be less contrast there, but a narrowband filter at that extreme should help fight against that. But the main thing is it's going to be a clear night so I should get the three hours of data that I need to lay on top of the broadband data to really make this image come to life. I'm looking forward to it so I'm going to go set up now and we should have a good session. I'm constantly improving and I've got so much more to learn and I've only just got started documenting my journey. So make sure you subscribe, like and comment down below what you think of this image that's about to pop on your screen. We get so frustrated whether it's the weather holding us back or various other factors, but ultimately it's that constant pursuit that makes the end result so special. It's incredible to think that this object is 23 million light years away 
and I'm able to take a picture of it. And when I think deeper, I realise that this really is no ordinary image. This really is God's art. Thank you.